think I'm lazy. Someday I'll stay so far away. You'll never be in love with me. I'll pray to live a life another day. So I have thoughts today, but this is my cat. Why? Yes, I would love to manage my mobile dashboard. Thank you ever so much. You're so kind and sweet and subtle. I think there is a ease to accepting one's own flaws. One's own flaws, bah. The simple fact I bah, that is a, is a good point to saying I have not accepted my own flaws. Narcissism. Superiority complex, I think. Way another hoss. Another hoss for the list. Thanks for joining the hive, hoss. <sighs> I'd almost believe you are real. Hello. Who are you talking to? Stream. Is anyone watching? No, but a bot just joined. Okay. I, it's, it's just, you it's like one of the common tips of stream is you're always meant to stream so someone's watching. Fair enough. Alright. Well, what's up? Just checking in. How long were you there? No, I just opened the door then. Oh, okay. Why? I didn't listen to what you were saying. No, I wasn't saying anything particular, but it would have been weird if you were just Standing there listening. I don't think you can be. No, you can be seen, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's good to know. This can be fun. Maybe. But. Get out of here for now. Hello. It's me. We're doing streaming. <sighs> oh, Monty's listening to music tonight. Poor Monty. I haven't heard from him in ages. You might notice I've turned the music up slightly. Because I chose to deal with it. What a shitty thing to say. My cat has realized the door has been opened and there's now a possibility to leave. So, uh, he is going to be annoying. Evening, Miss Bud. I was going to say morning. But it's not the morning. Psst. Yeah, he's not being annoying. He's just sitting there. You ready to do some life drawing? You ready to draw some bodies? certainly am. Lovely. Well, okay. Let's do a revision of, well, we want to start with hands. And let's do a revision of what we know about hands. And the, gene and the general shape of hands. So I've, I've, I've a few, let's, let's go to your drawing of the hands and I'll, I'll tell you what I think about them. Because I have a few critiques. <laughs> no, you're not late. You don't need to apologize for being late. There is no late. Well, that hand's pretty good. But, um, okay, open original, because I want to zoom in on it. So. Uh, one point is, okay. Let me actually copy image, and then I can draw on it. So, 
Like it's a pretty decent hand. Okay, so the stream can see. No. Nope. There we go. We're at full opacity. We're at a hard, we'll boost that size a little bit. No. Shrink that size a little bit. It's a fairly good hand. Like, you deepen the fingers and that was good. Um, you've, you've propped out the thumb, which was nice. Um, now an unintentional detail that I quite like that you've done is that you've also, uh, you've increased that line there, which sort of acts like a unintentional shadow, which is fun. Um, you've done the fingers, you've done the veins. The only thing that I was really gonna mention is that you've got, uh, if you wanted to get specific, you've got bones in your fingers. That, like connect there. And they sort of connect like that. And you got a bunch of bones in your hand. The big bones at the back that connect to your femur. Femur? That's not your femur. Your femur's in the leg. This one. Um, but because of these bones in the finger, sometimes you'll have like this sort of... Your fingers will be segmented just a little bit more. Um, so all in all, I think you've drawn quite a good hand. Oh, and the other thing is this thing. I didn't do it very well there. Um, but you've got like a little bump there. See, that's the other sneaky thing, Miss Bud. I feel like I've been put up on a pedestal. Look at Discord, okay. Oh, you meant you've adjusted a bit more. Well, one thing you could think about for this hand, for this one here, is that your thumb actually, this line sort of comes down like that. Like, that more. You could draw these lines, but that's not really helpful. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't V there, it goes down a little bit. Um, and you always want to try for those curves. Um, got a bone here, sometimes handy. Got knuckles, it's fairly good. You always do that thing. Um, I'm thinking of critiques because you've done a fairly good hand. The next thing is only like keep drawing it. Oh, <laughs> I was like, oh, I've got another message. It's from me. Fun little picture. It looks like I'm doing something educational. Um. But yeah, for that base hand. But the thing I will say is that you've probably drawn the easiest hand as well. Or at least the most common hand. You've drawn a flat hand like that. The next challenge is because people rarely hold their hands like this. Like maybe if they're surrendering. Um, so what we would do next no, no, it's a great first step. You've drawn a good hand. If you wanted to make it more realistic, 
you'd just sort of add more lines at that point. You would just sort of try and follow the skin contours as much as possible. Um, like you've got stuff along there, that sort of curves around there. And you can sort of make it up as you go along a bit um, by like, you know, the general shape of the hand. So, you know, like, you know, there's a knuckle here, so there should be like a bump. And you know there's a knuckle here as well. I'm gonna guess there's a knuckle there. Lo and behold, yes there is. But the lines actually go a little differently there. But yeah, the only thing is to then just keep adding detail. And then you'll get a more realistic looking hand. Um, you could probably sort of like chip it in at the bottom here because this is a little sneaky down here. If you can see my little line just there. Um, the flesh sort of like hooks around underneath and then like that, so you could do that. But yeah, I've, my biggest thing is good job, great hand. Now. Now that you've drawn a good hand, sorry, I, got, I distracted myself. Let's think about the structure of that hand. And so we've got a main chunk, which you can map as a square. We've got this little chunk off here. And then we can, if you wanna be lazy, like if you wanna save time, you can sort of map these fingers out in sets of twos if you like. And then you've still got like a relatively good hand shape. You map out the thumb. And that's like the base design for a hand. And you could separate, section these out. And that's 2D. And then be familiar with drawing shapes in, if you are familiar with drawing shapes in 3D, you can then extend this to, you know, to drawing a 3D hand. And you would have cylinders. cylinder Ta -da! and that's all that we were gonna do really like you were just gonna the simple steps that I've given is good hand think about uh, think about um, lines and forms and Unless you're being purposely lazy, so unless you're thinking about it, unless you're unless you're purposely doing it, avoid uh, expectations. It's like still pay attention to the hand if you are drawing from a reference, like we are here, um, and then in if we're making up imaginary hands. For 2D, uh, focus on these forms of palm, thumb, and digits. And then 3D is extrapolate. And you want to be able to draw, I can't spell, extrapolate. And you want to be able to draw more accurate hands. Like, 
the secret to more accurate hands is more detail. Um, unless you're talking about something like gesture drawing, in which case, I think we've talked about this a couple of times, it's all about energy and flow. Like, for example, if you wanted to put more detail, you could put extra shadowing on these parts. As you can see here and here, there's some more shadows. Uh, you've got the top of the fingernail. Um, whatever that growth is, uh, you could see that this is more of a curve. So you could chuck that curve in. You could see this with the indent, it sort of ch chunks out like that. Not that much, but it chunks out a little bit. Um, and art in general is sort of about, you know, guessing what the most obvious features are or guessing what the next most obvious feature is for excellent work. Is that... Is that Lil's hand up there? But yeah, if you want to draw something more realistic, art is sort of about guessing the next most obvious feature that your audience will pay attention to. Like, I thought if I, when I started before, I started drawing like these nubbins and the veins, but it was the fingernails that uh, ended up being the next most obvious feature for me. Um. And I think it's good. Really, it's practice. Uh, see other people draw hands? See, now this is what we're going to do next. Because I... Uh, like, I have advice I can give, and that was the advice. But the shitty thing is, at the end of the day, it's just... <laughs> go for it. There is no hard and fast, unfortunately. So, I am going to do a thing. We are going to get a reference up together, and we're both going to draw it. Okay, I want you to pick a number between 1 and 5. You know what? Screw it. Um, three. Well, that's easy then. Okay. So I'm going to send this image to you. And we're going to do the third one, if that wasn't obvious, by the way. I'll put it on my sheet as well. I'll blow it up a bit. And so we're going to do the third one. So... How am I going to do this? I'm going to start by mapping out uh, my anatomy. And, and another thing you can do, which is the thing you do in most gesture drawing, um, is you can measure things against each other. Like what I was thinking just then is from, from here to here is about the same as from here to here. Like it's a little bit longer, but it's very similarly length. So I'm going to draw my first finger.
untamed wild. Because my school is that of the earth. Cat? Psst. Oh, that's not. You're not. You, that is one thing you cannot touch, cat. Sorry, I've been distracted. Um. Oh, you dirty bastard. See, as you can witness by my art, even I'm not good at getting it exactly right. Critique my own one and say, Unless you have further questions, I really must return to my duty. Must so many papers. I'd critique my own one and say, You know, the back three fingers aren't representative of where they actually are on the body. But it's always good to practice, which is why I'm doing it along with you, more than anything else. That's our first one. How did you do? How are you going? Is what I should say, not how'd you do. Take your time, don't worry. Don't take too much time, mind you, but take some. And then if I wanted to get into it, I could do some line weight things about the place. Still there, Miss Foot? Lovely. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay. I see for the next, for the next one, you're going to have, I'm going to time it. We're going to have two minutes to draw it. And I just want you to slap down as many lines as you can onto the page in two minutes. Because when I said you could take your time, I meant, this is what I meant when I said too much time. You get too bogged down in the exacts of the lines and you need to loosen up and just just throw it, throw it onto the page. Because you get used to throwing it onto the page and then you're able to produce art much faster. So the next one we're gonna do is two. And we're gonna have two minutes starting in five seconds. So get ready, look at number two, go. You've just gotta make snap decisions about how things are gonna be placed.
Uh, remember, you can sort of check where stuff is in relation to stuff. So I know that the thumb stretches to like there. We're 30 seconds in now. Only a few more, um, only 90 more seconds to go. But yeah, just start throwing stuff down on the page. That is what's important. See, I've screwed up, but you've just got to keep on going with it until the time runs out. Like, that's a horrible looking hand that I've just drawn. But it doesn't matter, you just put it down on the page. And if you don't like it, do it again in a sec. Okay, we've got 15 more seconds to go. Good luck. Five, four, three, two, one. Done. Can I see how you did? So, you know, if I were to critique my own, the, I, I've sort of elongated the hand this way. It should be much more like up here. Should cup like that. And then have a little bit of shading down here. And then we could have clipped it like that. I hope you're just sending me a picture, Miss Bud, because pens are meant to be down. And I think I should have measured that versus that. So I could do that versus that. See, when I cut it off shorter, it was much more similar in height, like up here. Um, whereas this is, it, 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 it's wrong proportionally, my one. And what I, sh what I think I should have done instead is, uh, see, great work. That is a great piece that you've done very quickly. Um, how do you feel about it? Rate it out of 10 for me. We're gonna do this once more. We're gonna do it with a two minute timer. No, no, I think you've done really well. You've, uh, this leftmost finger is in position and exactly where it should be. Um, <laughs> the this finger, the the second leftmost finger that's tucked underneath the thumb, the thumb, six is not bad. That's good. I, I appreciate the respect of giving it a six. Come here. Yeah, I see you. This finger doesn't have a connecting joint. Like if you were, if you were to look at it on my hand, you can see that even though it's tucked underneath the thumb, it goes all the way up to the top where, so there could be like another, you can't see my mouse. Okay. Can you see my mouse now? You still can't see my mouse. Got the image. Photoshop. So yeah, I think there should be like a line there. That would be good. And I'd say your top fingers are pretty clubby. So what I would start doing is sort of like draw it in different segments with the front and then that, that, that helps me. I don't know if this is going to help. So I'm sort of saying it a little cautiously, but Drawing them in different segments helps me do a smoother flow to it. Um, all right. Let us do it once more. OK. 
Okay, pick a number, one to five. You got one more decision to make. Oh. And then after this, we'll do a draw along of a hand in 3D perspective of... And it's not going to be a very specific draw along, so you'll have to forgive me if it's a little ad-libbed at times. You want to do one? Okay. Well, in that case, we're going to do number five. <laughs> I tricked you. <laughs> no, we're not going to do number five. We're going to do number four, because guess what? Number five is too easy. Um... I should have said pick one to four. But yes, we're gonna... We're gonna do number four. And we're gonna do it quick in two minutes. And then we'll get ready. So in about 30 seconds, we'll start our two minutes. Um, then we'll do our quick draw along. And <laughs> excuse the cat tail. And then we're gonna do constructed hand. So. 15 more seconds, unless I was talking for a minute and 40 and blacked out, which I don't, just credit from the equation, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, begin. So we're doing number 4. We got that top side. I think I've done it again. I've screwed up the proportions a little bit. Remember, it's absolutely fine if you screw up the proportions a little bit. Um, number one, because this is practice. Number two, because that's what we call cartoons, baby. That's what, that's just, that's, that's cinema, baby. Okay, I don't like calling, I don't like saying that well, while you're on the other end. This feels weird. Hey, Jed Cat. Oh, time check. Fuck, we've got like 30. We do not have long. We have 10 more seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 2, 1. Pens down. Oh my god, are you already done? No, that's, that's number 2. That's number 3. Why do we draw number 3? Did I talk about number 3? Oh, fuck. But yeah, pants down. Send me a picture when you're ready. Which one we did? We did four. Great work. Four. So an issue I've got with mine and with yours, I would say, is the thumb comes all the way across. So when we put our thumb like that, 
like you can still see all the joints of the thumb all the way across to the edge of the hand like it, it, it doesn't just sort of like limply stop oh no yours is you did yours all the way to the edge that's just an issue with mine good work um one one your hands a little long i would have where the bottom line is for your well you've got your crease underneath your thumb to the bottom of the hand I would have probably stopped the hand there because again, if we look at our Photoshop file, we've got like one and one. It's a pretty long hand. Like slants like that. Maybe if you just had that slant in there. I think you've drawn a really solid hand, Miss Bud. Um, I think it could be improved by accepting this dint here in the hand. Whereas yours sort of comes down quite flat. I think if you exaggerated that a bit more and maybe pushed out this bit where the thumb is, that could make it look more realistic. But again, really great job. Okay. And now time to ad lib. Now hand draw along, which you're going to join me on this one, Miss Bud. And we're going to do this one in two layers. We're going to do a construction, and then we're going to do a sketch over the top of our construction, which is very common. So construction. We're going to start with a box first. I'm going to draw. Um, we're going to draw a different box. I'm going to have a box, like, feel free to look at what I'm drawing and just replicate it. I'm purposely not using much perspective on this box to keep it as basic as possible. So there's our box. Send me a, a anything in the chat, and then I'll know that we're done with our box, and I'll move on to the next step. Hi, Puskuts. He's like, don't touch me. You will not let me out of your chamber. You do not deserve the privilege of my fur. The cat, I love you. I love you, cat. Have you drawn your box? You've drawn your box. Lovely. So now what we're going to do next is we're going to draw that ligament that comes off our thumb. So we're going to pop a line here and a line here on the box. And we just connect these lines and we'll connect these lines all the way down to the corner. And then if you want to, I'm going to do it for my own readability, but you don't need to if you don't want to. I'm going to erase these lines just so you can see what it sort of is. And tell me when you've got that done. <laughs> now you love me. He's like, if I love you, will you let me out of the room? In a second. Okay, you do that. I'm gonna be back on one sec as I go deal with this cat. Back in a sec stream. Can't we call? Would you like to call? We absolutely can, but I'll be still be back on one sec uh, to deal with the cat. Yes, that is not a problem. Up here. I'll pick you up.
I'm back. Let me pause the music. Because we don't need the music if we're on a call. It's not me doing a podcasty thing anymore. Um, but yeah, do you want a call? I'll move you over here so I can see you better. Stream won't be able to see you, sorry. Oh, come on. There we go. I move you over there, but yeah, I'm ready to call whenever you are. Um, I see you're offline, which makes me have a sneaking suspicion that uh, you are currently. Oh, call when you're ready, and I should be ready also. Okay. Oh. Well, you're online. Okay. <laughs> I'll just sit here then and look pretty. <sighs> oh, good. Oh, good. Okay, now I've got one sec. Um. Cool. I realize I'm on stream in safe road mode, so I can't actually see if I get a call. So I've got to pay attention to that. No, we're still good. Good. Wait, there we go. <laughs> oh, can I hear you? I can't hear you. Oh. Can Oh no, I can hear you, I can hear you. <laughs> Evening. How you doing? Um, good. You? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kicking about. I'm still alive. We're good. Um, can you see the stream? I'm trying to find out how I can do this and the stream at the same time. Okay. Let me, let me do a thing on stream. Let me see if I can... I have a better idea. I'm getting something that means I can see the stream on the TV while I can see you here. Okay, sweet as. Hey. Let me know when you're ready. Welcome. Until then, we are going to work on this stream. Person to be punch there and then shoulders, arms, and hands. Thank you. 
You're okay now. Oh, shush. I'm not doing this now. I got me! Are you still there? Yep, I'm still here. Hi, I can see you now. Cool. Daily, shut up. <laughs> you were so nicely asleep. Should be fine. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let me just finish up here and then we can do the draw along. Yeah. Bye. Bye. He's always got great timing. Do you gotta go do something again? No. Have you drawn the box and the triangle? I did. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Great. Um, cool. Uh, so I'm gonna try and draw a limp hand that's like... Like, the classic sign if someone is gay they do the limp hand and so the next two parts are we the cylinders uh, i'm going to start with this thumb because it's in front so i'm going to put just a cylinder on the thumb and if you want to you can do it like that and then erase that because that edge is facing away from us it's probably a little bit big for the thumb, but that's okay. The, my one is. Um, and then, like, so the cylinder would be on this plane here. That's the other face of the cylinder that's down there. So it looks something like that when I've got all the lines erased. And it's a cylinder that plonks on that other triangle. Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, good. <laughs> See, what I'm trying to do now is sneaky looking at my own hand to try and make it better. Because my hand is sort of like this, which means the thumb would probably hook up like that. I'm looking at my own hand sneakily so it looks better when Miss Bud comes back. You are. Nothing. Nothing. Um, and the next cylinder of the thumb is the final digit, which, which I was looking at my own hand. It'll hang sort of forward because 
it won't. And you could sort of draw the final digit as a bit of a... Um, so you've got your sphere, essentially. No, you've got your cylinder, essentially. And then the final one, you can just put a bulb on top that's like... Uh, that's like putting a semicircle on top. Semicircle? A uh, hemisphere. So then I would put that on top of the cylinder and bowl it off. My hand is a little elongated, but again, I'm a cartoonist, so it's fine. It doesn't matter if you're a bit off, this is just for like general hand shapes. If someone looked at this, they would look at it and they would go, that is a hand and you'd be fine. You do you, boo. Yeah. Excellent. Cool. Um, and now what I would do, I did mine a little bit wrong, is I would just chunk a thumbnail on there. Just to be done with his hand. So, are we doing our own hands? How so? Like we're we're sort of drawing the same hand, but um, I mean you can do your own hand. It's fine. Uh, yeah, I'm using my hand currently for anatomy because the thumb where I was gonna draw it doesn't actually stretch that way. Like it would have been a thumb, but it would have been like bent on backwards. Uh. Um, and again, my thumb is too long on the thing that I'm drawing currently. So if you want to create yours shorter, that's chill. <laughs> What's wrong? I'll do that. I'm going to chunk another. I think I broke my thing. <laughs> How? It's just, it's just floppy hanging there. And I'm like, how is this? I, I see what you've done. You've done yours. <laughs> like. It, it, your one sort of angles down like that almost. But no, it's fine. It's fine. It's good. No, I'm, I'm putting a bit up. Okay. Cool. And I, and I would separate it out in two different ways. So the way that we're doing it currently is the way with the least amount of erasing, I would say, where we're doing what you can see in the front first and then moving backwards to the rest of the fingers. What you could do is you could like map out the entire hand and then erase at the back once you get to the back. Like, even though all these lines sort of overlap with each other, you would erase underneath there, underneath there, until it looked good. But we're doing it with the least erasing. So the next way we want to do, next one we want to do is the first finger. So same as this finger, we just want to grab a digit and plunk it in. This is a cylinder. So the face would be here on the top of the square, which is... Popping a digit in. And this hand's actually fairly simple as well because the good thing about this hand that we're gonna draw is that you'll be able to see all four digits on the hand still. It'll sort of be splayed nicely so you'll be able to see. It's a, it's gonna be in such a perspective on this hand. Oh, this hand? This hand. It'll be in such a perspective that you'll still be able to see the four digits. Whereas a lot of the time, we sort of hold our hands real close together, so you'll only ever see like two digits, which will be hidden weirdly. And that's that's like a little trick you can do to make it look more realistic. Mostly because in cartoons you still see a lot of the fingers because it's nice and easy and recognizable as a hand. But you hide some of the fingers and you're like, oh, like a regular hand. How's your hand doing? It needs the ER, but it's okay. <laughs> it's good, it's good. 
I would do nothing to it. It looks great. <laughs> um, and now we're going to put another, we're just going to do it again. Uh, we could stop there and it would be a perfectly good hand um, because that's mine's a good length, but yours is sort of short. Yours is sort of short and I would say more physically representative of where the actual ligaments are because most of the time I only draw two ligaments even though technically there should be like a third there but I want to make mine nice and gangly. No, I won't make mine nice and gangly but yours stops like there so then you put a third in and then a fourth um, and generally the no, you would put a second in, I said so I should say, so one, two and then three you should put a second in which is going to be your second, it'll go longest, middlest, shortest in actuality. But mine doesn't do that because I drew nice and long fingers, which are inaccurate, but nice and long. Um, so how would I do it? I would. And feel free to like, Um, sort of disjoint them a little bit. Like the hand is not is very unlikely to be flat out straight like that, and even as it's generally curved back a bit, you've got to try hard to like get your hand even like that. So when you hold your hand naturally, it likes to curve in on itself a bit. When you like let it limp, it holds like that. So feel free to angle your cylinders in in that nice curve, because the hand, the body, just in general, likes to go in curve. Which we're going to see in a sec when we need to sketch over the top. Solid. Perfect. Um, and now we're going to do that three more times. And we're going to do that a little differently. So we know that in perspective, we see the top of this hand and it goes down that way a little bit. Even just the tiniest bit. So we know that um, in perspective, this bit is going to go down this way, like, like as if the box was extended upwards. And so we know that the ligaments on the hand are fairly similar in positioning. Um, so we'll use this point as where the other one should be. And the next one along is a little bit higher along. Um, and so we draw it in. And we know the next one along is a little bit higher along than that. No, not from this side. We know the next one along is a little bit shorter along, and the one after that is a little bit shorter along again. Mine are not spaced out enough. For the perspective I've got my hand in. And then a little bit underneath that. And then hand likes to move in that same nice curve. So we're gonna do same again. Um, same thing again, this one being a little bit taller, next one being a little bit shorter. And then if we wanted to put the pinky out, I'm going to make that a little bit shorter by a greater margin because while technically it was a little bit shorter, we also still need to account for the fact that it wants in perspective, it wants to shrink back down that way. Because, because imagine this, this, this box is just extended upwards still. So we still want to shrink it down back there. So if we want to, so what I was doing was I, what I first did was I only shrunk it, but I didn't first shrink it for perspective and then shrink it again, which I might actually make it even shorter than that. And then don't do the pinky just yet. Um, and then we'll put some more tips on these fingers and we're going to curve that, curve that, and then the pinky I want lifted a bit. So I'm actually going to erase my pinky just here. I hope you didn't do that. You probably did do the pinky because I told you to, um, which is my bad, but not my bad, but because I want to do something different with the pinky. So why the construction technique is helpful um, is we were going to put the pinky up more. So the construction technique is for like more, 
complex hand positions. Like you can you can sort of guesstimate where a hand is and you could draw it in your basic, you know, we got the thumb, hand, fingers, longer finger, longer finger, pinky. And we got like a little hand there. But the the, the harder positions are difficult. Um, and I'm gonna just chunk some fingernails on here. Why? Because um, I like how it looks. But you don't need to. So, Pinky. Are you up? Oh, wait a sec. I'm rushing a bit, sorry. But the next no, the next okay. two are long. Perfect. That's an amazing looking hand so far, Miss Bud. Great work. Thank you. Um, Pinky will push up a bit, like the T's, the, the Queen's grip. Um, like the Queen is reaching for her T, but she hasn't quite got there yet. So we're going to tilt... Oh. We're gonna tilt that cylinder. We're gonna, and it's and it's the same again as drawing the other ones. And now you can see the separation that you can use, I guess, in your drawings. Excellent. Yours is probably looking more like a hand than mine. You've done a really good job. Um, and then the next thing is like, hey, you drew a big old digit, forearms, just a bigger digit than a finger. Works the same way. It looks the same shape. Draw it coming off the back of the hand. So you just curve that around. And you can sort of, depending on the person's shape, you can, you see the sort of, the forearm sort of thickens as you go down. So you could uh, stretch out the cylinder at the back and then you've got a whole arm to go with it. And then if you wanted to do more than that, you could sketch over the top of it and just sort of connect up all the lines. And then once you've once you've got this bit sort of down pat, you can then just sort of free think slash hand it. You can just sort of draw it with the thought of what the structure would be in your mind and still understand what you're drawing and be able to draw a hand in pretty much any position you want to. Pretty cool. Yeah. <clears throat> um that is all and then if you want to practice drawing hands some more you can uh, and also remember like this little bit here you've sort of got to like merge the lines like even though there was a gap there between those two the flesh sort of hangs out over the top so oh, you've got to merge it all I honestly don't think I've drawn the best example of a hand and a good reason why is a mistake I make a lot of the time where I, I think I've made you made the mistake on yours as well, maybe, we'll see, is I draw this box up far too high or I should be drawing this box. So it, it almost makes the thumb look like a finger or I should draw the box like way down here and then the thumb digits come up there and that would look more like a hand 
Although I haven't drawn a very good hand, honestly. If I drew this for anything in particular, I would redraw it again. But luckily it's just practice, and so I don't mind so much. So now we're erasing the lines. Please. Yeah, sort of. You, you can if you want to. Like, if you want a final product, you would ink over the top of what you thought was good, and then erase all the grey lead, because hopefully the ink will stay and the grey lead will leave. But yeah, not an amazing hand for my construction, honestly. The construction doesn't look horrible, but then the hand I drew looks right awful. Um, yeah, that's hand drawing. Pretty good, I guess, but they're very... My suggestion would be to look up someone else's guide to hand drawing and they'll have a better job of it. Yeah, I made you draw your thumb too high as well because the thumb the yeah. thumb doesn't start here, the thumb starts down here. So no. brick quite far down. Yeah. Um But that's the construction the guide to hand drawing. The vague idea. But yeah, definitely look up someone else's guide to hand drawing. Hand, uh, hand drawing, um, see, here you go, much better. Yeah, they don't even draw their brick in for their thumb. They literally just have a line at the base of the square. Um, oh, they've sort of got a brick for the thumb on the second drawing. Yeah, someone else will teach you much much better than I. But if you wanted the guide, that's 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 my quick tips. Thank you. See this person. This person knows how to draw hands. Uh, but they also did follow our guide. They they did a thing on theirs as well where they nubbed out where the knuckles were, so that they could protrude the hand over those points. Um, because that's where the bones would be on those. Um, yeah, I didn't do an amazing job of hands, so I'm not going to say it here. Um, but there we go. That's that for now. Now I'm going to get on with page six of my comic book, if you don't mind. Awesome. Cool. Um... So I'm going to hang up on the call, sorry, and play some music if that's chill, unless you want to hang out on the call. No, that's fine. Cool, cool. Well, I'll catch you later, Miss Bo. Have a good night. You too. Bye. Bye. Cool. It's weird, because I know you're still there, but now it's just me again. I have plenty of news as well, by the way. Boy, have I had just the wildest of mornings. So I took some advice and I got myself on Grinder, And the sheer amount of penises and Coveting I did was uh, tremendous, and I felt nothing for it.
players. We wanna. I remember we always want our Gensai on the other side. So we're gonna flip horizontal. Time for me to draw a hand. <sighs> yes, I had a bizarre morning. I need my brush on the right layer. That's wrong. No, stop. Um. Fuck. Here we go. Okay. Let's check out our brush size, do all that. And yeah, too big a brush size. We want size four. We don't want that. We want hard round. Perfect size four. We don't want that. And we're good. Let's get to drawing. Oh, got a message. That looks much better, Miss Bud. And remember to uh, hook the thumb down, hook the line between the hand and the thumb down a little bit more to show that indentation of the flesh, and that'll look that'll look even better, I think. But yeah, are you moving that thumb down like that? Excellent. Like, I don't think hook, the, hook that line down much more, but uh, it's a really nice hand. <laughs> no, I don't think I've got much more to say. Oh. I... Yeah, I don't... I just felt weird about it. I feel like there's something that I want to get off my chest, but I don't know what it is. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy to have helped with the hands. I think it's grand. I love people getting to know art even better. I think it is an inherently useful skill almost I would, I would go as far to say, no matter what the field you're in. Yeah, these days I sort of just freehand hands, which isn't very good.
Um, Um, oh, hello, I've got messages. I'm on the TV. That's not a safe idea. Although it is fun for me to be there. I feel very... Now this, this is what I was talking about with cinema the other day. Now that's, now that's cinema, baby. Excuse me, I'm a bad influence. Um... I'm gonna draw a figurine on this bed. Little fell asleep watching you. 55, oh, the TV. I hear the word inches and my mind goes dark places these days. <laughs> Yeah, I need to be family friendly now. If I want to be a good, a good influence on Lil. No more swearing. No more. Well, I mean, seconds ago I was talking about Grinder. Lo and behold, the children hear about the homosexual agenda. They'll become homosexual. Or at least such was the belief of. Conservatorship? No, not conservatorship. Um, censorship in the olden days. something funky here. This is going to be a silhouette. See, it was going to be a different stru structure, but now I've changed it up just for emphasis. Thank you. Well, we're almost halfway through. Tomorrow's a full page. 
We're gonna do seven and eight together. That's right, because we already did. We're gonna get this. We're gonna get this. Flippin' done. Uh, plan. What's the next bit of the plan? Speech, speech bubble. Oh. Speech bubble of the slave owner talking about the genocide breathing. Uh, um, I need to remember what the dude looks like. Strong cheekbones, wide nose. So it sort of looks like. woman's face honestly the woman looks a bit like a clown Changing hands.
Oh, I need to draw the gem say. Um, let's put that on a new layer. Um... <laughs> There's another character. It's a pretty good design, I think. Out of all the ones that I've done, I've got to do money swapping hands. How do we do money swapping hands? <sighs> Maybe I stop there for tonight. Yeah, I'm pretty tired, honestly. I might set this project back a day. Good that I did some of it. Three frames. That's a nice looking. Uh, that's a nice little design of the of the Gensai on the bed. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, Miss Bud. I'll catch you soon. I'm sure. I'll probably see you tomorrow night uh, when I do this again and hopefully finish off page six, seven, and eight. Uh, that's the goal, but probably only page six and do page seven and maybe some of page eight good night miss bud sleep well <laughs> nah, nah. don't have to be that's 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 the bar set forth always but i'm happy you are good night <laughs>